Today I want to talk to you guys about the ultimate crossover. When I think about crossover, I for sure think about Allen Iverson, one of my favorite players. When him and Michael Jordan were in that ISO situation at the top of the key, and he hits him with that left to right once, and then he hits him with that hard left to right again to knock down the shot. So we might not get all the way in detail with the Allen Iverson crossover, but we want to help you guys have the ultimate crossover from right to left or left to right, something you don't want to miss. You already know, man, let's get it. Got my guy Simi here today. we will work on his crossover. High level, high level basketball player. So Sam, we're gonna warm up. I wanna just kind of work on your crossover a little bit. So dealing with your crossover is gonna be a lot dealing with your timing, right? So right now we're gonna talk about dribble timing. Also to get you loose, I want one to two dribbles and I wanna focus on back to front. But as you're doing that, we're just gonna go down the court. So we'll go one, back front, one, back front. So it's almost like you're dropping one dribble in between. Make sure your feet aren't hitting at the exact same time. I just want that back to front. We'll go down right and come back left. Good. Good. Here we go. Good. When we go left hand, I want you to make sure you go like this. Pull the ball to your pocket. So when you go, this ball, instead of being dribbled here, pull it back as you're going down. Pull that ball back to your pocket. Left hand going down. There we go. Uh-huh. Good time it. Good. Uh-huh. Good, good timing. Next, we're going right here. So same thing, when I go, you can go one to two dribbles, however you want. Now I'm going back, front, and when I cross, I'm just stepping that foot into space. So one to two dribbles, back, front, cross, relax, relax, back, front, cross, relax. I want every time, try to snap that foot right into space. Get it right here, about 20 seconds. There we go, good, hard cross. Good, come on, stay with it. Good, snap it. There we go. Uh-huh, stay with it. Good. Uh-huh, three more, three more, three more. Uh-huh, two more. Last one, good Sam. Good work, good work, good work. For this next crossover, as you're almost like walking in the space, as I see my defender, I will dribble and I'll step and then I'll kind of land in that same sense we worked on. Now when I'm here, I want everything to look like I'm going right. I want crossover, and when I cross the ball over, that right foot's gonna follow. So I go right, left, immediately behind the back, kind of retreat back to that space. Just give me three to four reps right to left, and then three to four left to right. Cross, good, there we go. Dribble, good timing, good. Stay with it, all about timing. Inside foot, good T, give me one more right to left, one more right to left. Tap, hard cross, good, now left to right, same thing. Snap, cross, there we go, good. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. There we go, way to open up. Good, one more T, right before you cro cross, pause for me. Right before you cross, pause right there. Go one more time, one more time. When you hear me say pause, just try to pause. Three, two, pause right there. Boom, so as we see, get back. Look how wide his stance is, so right now, T is imagining a defender is probably guarding him like this. This foot is almost outside of my frame, and also this foot is outside of my frame. So when we're working on becoming an elite crossover type of player, a lot of players get skinny. And then when I cross here, I'm either have to adjust here or this foot's gotta go outside. So every time when you're at home working on this crossover, make sure if I were to pause right here, I'm in this wide exaggerated stance where it looks like I'm going left and then cross the ball back over right. When I think about crossover, I'm also thinking about an in and out cross. So now this is gonna be important with your timing as well. When I go in, boom, I step with that foot and notice that ball is acting like I'm pushing in that direction. So I go in and out and I'm almost right back in that drop situation that I had you cross in. So right now I'm just one, two and relax. One, two, relax, I'm turning that ball. Right now we're just focusing on the in and out, but it's all about levels. The in and out's gotta be good before we cross. One, two, good, here we go. Uh-huh, stay with it. Dig in and out. Good, two more, two more for me, two more. Good, last one, last one, last one. Nice, same thing left side, same thing left side. Don't step as forward now. You good, stop that foot. Left foot down, quick in and out. Boom, right there. Not bad, two more. Don't go as forward now. So when you go, do it in and out again. Do it. Boom, just think. Let that foot go outside, yeah. Give me two more. I'm right here in front now. Quick. There we go, one more. There we go, all right. Now we're gonna add the cross. So now I'm going here, left, right, setting it up. Now I'm going crossover, same thing we had you warm up earlier. I cross and behind the back. But I automatically want you to go switching back. So we're ultimately going left and right. 
boom. Then I go right to my other hand, in and out. Really snap that crossover hard. Cross, good. Left hand now, yep. Right to a shift. Uh, you good. Now so forward, get wide and shift. Wide, shift, good. There we go, right side. Cross, yep, quicker, quicker. Pop, pop. Quick one, two, one, two. Good, not so big on the cross now. Just give me, so I'm gonna hold you like this. So you're like, you're crossing the mess out of them right here. Boom, now that's fine, but now, yeah, a little tighter. Shift, use your speed. There we go, three more, shift. Good, two more, finish with the left. Behind, last one right here, left hand. Money bags, good. Anything you wanna get better at, you gotta work on it. You really gotta work on the foundation with my footwork, with my timing, also making sure I'm selling these moves. Once you get the foundation down, now we gotta be able to, you know, you gotta be able to add the shot. So now, only thing from that aspect, we're gonna add our shot now. We're gonna get into our drop cross. So being, being able to have a drop cross means, ultimately I'm keeping my space. I can cross and go forward, I can take that step and fall forward. I might not always have that space, so I wanna keep my space. What's gonna hold me accountable is this black line. So when I go right now, I'm gonna drop, that right foot's gonna be almost right on the black line, and now we're creating just lateral space. So when I cross that defender up, let's say he moves a little right, I'm going here, right, left. I haven't gone forward, I'm not in the paint. I'm still right by the nail and I'm knocking it down. Cross, perfect. Good T, drop. Good feet, good feet. Good. Bang, bang, left to right, same thing. Drop, one, two. Good. One, two. Bang, bang. One, two. Bang, bang. That was lateral space, now we're going downhill. As you see, we're only about 15 feet away. Right now, still warming up. As he gets into his drop cross, now he's gonna go forward. So, my man's already hot. We'll go from the high school three-point line right now, have that drop cross. Now he's actually going forward, all right? So now he's able to cross that defender up, and he's getting by that defender, knocking it down. So notice now he's going directly downhill, right into his cross, knocking the shot down. Also, when he crosses the ball over, he's crossing pickup. No extra dribbles needed. He's covering space with his feet. Downhill, one, two. Straight up and down, good T, one more. Good, up. Notice how wide his feet are. Wide feet, up. Good, Sam. One, two, get it up. Bang, bang. Cash me. So I wanna give you guys multiple options. So now it's gonna be the scissor cross. When you dribble, the ball's in my right hand. Naturally, you're gonna dribble on your inside foot. We call that a dribble step. So now I'm gonna have my guy Sim get into a scissor cross. As you see here, John Wall does a great job of implementing the scissor cross. He likes to do it a lot off rejecting a ball screen. So right now, Sim's going dribble inside, and then as it looks like he's about to dribble inside again, that foot's gonna scissor right under his hips, and he's gonna go into his crossover. So it's here, it's one, boom, cross. He can take that one extra dribble if he needs to, or you can go right back into that one dribble pull up as before. Boom, good cross. Good space, knockdown. Good, one. Cash me. Stay with it. Good, left to right now. So we're here like this. As I go, I'm going inside, scissor. And as it goes, once again, it's all about that little tap, tap. Yeah, it's good. That catch him sleeping. Stay with it. Good shot. Good, one more, two in a row, here it is. So now we're going right to our in and out crossover. I want you kind of going now right at the defender's chest. So now more, I'm going about 20% downhill. Now as I go, same footwork we worked on, left to right, I want that tight cross. And now I want you kind of running to open space for that shot. Right when you get into it, back pedal back. Now we're gonna go top of the key. Now I want left hand, in and out cross. So now you're shooting the ball from two different angles, working on right and left. Good, stay with it. But to keep playing. Even if you lose the ball with these reps, gotta continue to keep playing. It's gonna happen in the game. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yep, big shot. Game time if you hit it right here. Yes, sir. I'm downtown, in and out. Cash out. So that's just part one of having the ultimate crossover. You gotta have the foundation with your dribble timing, understanding your feet, not being skinny, making sure you're wide and also pulling that ball to the pocket. You'll see old school T-Mac, a lot of those longer, lengthier defenders are able to always have that ball wide, but at certain times you have to have a short and quick crossover. 
So we gave you the in-and-out crossover. I gave you an exchange to an in-and-out crossover, your classic drop crossover as well, and then also you being able to step into space, skip into that cross. Let me know in the comments what you guys liked, what you want to see next. We got plenty of moves. We got plenty of basketball IQ coming for you. You already know Coach Marcus Hodges. Let's get it.